Hey friends, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is a human hair wig by Fair Fashion, which is a, a spin-off of Renee of Paris. I'm not sure the right terminology, but Fair Fashion is part of Adirond's. It's a the human hair arm of Renee of Paris, and I hadn't heard of them until uh, name brand wigs asked me if I wanted to review Irene. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this line, show you Irene, which is a Remy human hair wig with a monofilament top. The hair is gorgeous. This is air dried. I have not styled her because I wanted you to see what she looked like air dried because I think this could be a great natural way to wear her if you don't want to style your hair. So if you want to know more about Irene, then stick around. like to thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me Irene so I could show all of you. I love showing all different types of styles. I will warn you though, this is a high-end human hair piece. Definitely not in everyone's budget, but I do like to be able to show wigs of all budget, all ranges, all types, because you just never know what someone might be looking for. If you have not checked out Name Brand Wigs, I love them. I've been a customer of theirs since the very beginning of my wig wearing journey, like the second wig I ever purchased was from Name Brand Wigs. They have great customer service, they have a blog, they put out a ton of education as well as wig reviews. If you want to check them out, there will be a link in the description to this piece as well as a coupon code that will save you money. All right, let's take a look at Irene from all sides. Now remember, I have not styled this piece. I did wash it, but I have not styled it. I've taken no heat to this. I washed it and then let it air dry, which I always do with a brand new human hair wig so that we can see how it air dries. Just because a wig may not air dry beautifully and may need some styling doesn't make it a bad wig, but it can be helpful to know if you can just air dry and wear a wig. And I do think you can just air dry and wear this one. It dries with just the slightest bit of bend in the hair, not really technically wavy, but it doesn't dry frizzy. Beautiful hair quality on this piece. Now, this is a Remy human hair wig, and for those of you new to wig wearing, Remy just means that the hair cuticles are all going in the same direction. When our hair is growing out of our head, all of the hair cuticles are going in the same direction. Sometimes with more budget-friendly human hair, not always, but sometimes, you will find non-Remy hair. That doesn't mean the hair quality isn't good, but it does mean that they're not guaranteeing that those hair cuticles go in the same direction. And when that happens, you can get more tangling with the piece. I've had no tangling with this one at all. I have been playing with her, getting to know her. It's soft, it's silky, the hair feels high quality, no tangling. Now this piece has a monofilament top, but no lace front. And let's talk about that for a moment because often when you get a wig with no lace front, if it doesn't have bangs, it can look a little obvious. That, that sort of hard front transition can look a little obvious. I think they did a really good job of keeping that front very low profile. Now you can see where some of that monofilament starts right there. We'll talk about that too. But I do think that it's possible to wear this piece just as it is, not have to cut bangs into it and not have to have hair to blend. What do I mean by that? So when you get a hard front wig like this, especially in human hair pieces, often people like to blend their own bio hair with the wig to make it look really natural at that front hairline. Similar to what I do at my sideburns. So here's all of my bio hair right here. And what I like to do with a lot of my wigs is pull my bio hair out. Now obviously the color doesn't really go with this one very well. Root, root touch-up powder can help that. But then I do this. And that can make wearing a wig so realistic and natural looking. You can tuck and you really can't see the difference between the wig and your hair, especially if your hair blends well. Well, you can do that with the front as well. I obviously do not have hair here to do that with, but if you do, it won't take much. And if you purchase a color that is um, that will work with your bio hair, you can save money on hard front wigs because it does cost more to have that lace 
In addition, what typically fails first on a human hair wig, especially a quality human hair wig, is the lace. Lace is very fragile. You have to be really careful with it, not to tear it, not to stretch it out, not to have it fray, and it still may do that over time. Wigs like this can last years with good care. So when you think about the price, and you think that you could wear this daily for at least a year, if not two or three, depending on how you care for it, that price comes much closer to a synthetic wig, which you would have to replace a lot more frequently. So that's what that cap looks like. So if you don't like the hard front and you don't have any hair to blend, then you could look for a lace front or if you're a bang wearer, you could cut bangs into it and it won't have any impact. The ear tabs are not made with soft material like often on the synthetic pieces, but does have a metal stay in it. We've got an extended nape. We've got hook adjusters on this piece and the rest besides that mono top is closed wefted. Now this mono top is very soft. It is not like a lot of the synthetic mono tops. It has a really soft and smooth layer over it. And there's silicone right here, which if you have no bio hair, could help to grip your scalp, but it is also a great base for adhering your wig if you need that extra security. So let's throw her back on. And you will notice, maybe you will notice, but I did not have the hook adjuster cinched in on this one at all. It is fitting my 22 inch circumference pretty much perfectly. Just snug enough that I feel super secure. I mean, you saw, I have no wig grip on. This wig is not gonna fly off my head. So it's very secure on my head. So if you have a 22 or less inch circumference, I think this is gonna fit you great. There is a tiny bit of stretch. It's not super stretchy, but it's definitely got stretch. And so if you have a little bit of a bigger circumference, I think it might be okay if you're slightly bigger, especially if you're used to your wigs being snug. But I, I really couldn't recommend this for like a 22 and a half, just because of how it fits me. I am not getting extra cap up here. Like normally, I have a very petite over the top of my head. And normally when I do this, I can sort of fold in that cap a little bit because with a very petite over the top on an average cap, I should get extra cap. I'm not getting extra cap on this one. So I do think it's running average to more average petite rather than average to average large based on how it fits me. The ear tabs though come exactly where I like them, right down and just in front of my ear. That gives me the best coverage that I can get, especially with my low hairline. But it's still, it's not so bad that I can't tuck. This is such a low profile over here. We don't have a lot of volume. This hair is what I would consider a lowish density for a human hair wig. And because it's human hair, it doesn't have any permatease or anything. So it's really nice and flat, really tuckable, really casual. You can wear it just like this. The layers as well make it really natural looking. I mean, honestly, if you walked around with this wig on, everybody's gonna think it's your hair. It doesn't look like a wig at all. And if you wanna put a few curls in it um, or straighten it completely, you sure could. With some curls, I think these layers would look really, really cute. So comfortable. So let me kind of summarize. We've got a Remy human hair wig with gorgeous hair quality, super gorgeous hair quality. It doesn't have a lace front, which I'm not really missing. I mean, it's not perfect. You can kind of see that transition to that, the monofilament up there, but it's really not terrible. And there are some little tiny shorter hairs. You could always cut some more baby hairs into it to disguise it. Because of this monofilament, which I didn't mention, you can part this anywhere. So if you wanted to get a more, a deep left or right part, you can totally do that. You can see the knots just a little bit, which I am not sensitive to. I don't think they're super obvious, but if you are, you can take a little face powder and dab it right on wherever you choose to part it and that will hide those knots. I am really impressed with this piece. I think it is definitely, if you've got the budget and you're looking for a human hair wig, it's definitely worth checking out, I think. But that said, that it's definitely more of a, a luxury piece. Let's talk about color. So it's number eight, 14 slash 25. So what we have here is a eight root, that's the number eight R in the color code, 
I will tell you this is a very light root. It is not an eight as we tend to think of it in synthetic wigs. Colors look much different in human hair than they do in synthetic. This is a light root, not a dark root, barely noticeable, really in line with the colors that we have here. And it really looks natural. Like if you went to the salon and had your hair highlighted, you'd probably have a little bit of darker at the top. It's super, super natural looking. And then we have a 14 as the base, which is a typically more of a, a dark ash blonde. And then we've got a 25, which is a medium golden blonde. It's a subtly highlighted piece. The blonde is warm but it's not super yellow. The root is super, super natural. Great color, good blonde. If you want to see this color outside, we will get outside in just a moment. But before I wrap up, I'd just like to thank Name Brand Wigs again for allowing me to show Irene to everybody. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you in my next video. Right, we're outside, it's cloudy. You can see this color. This is air dried as well still. I'm filming this before the review and I'm trying to decide, do I curl this or do I review it air dried? It looks great air dried in my opinion for people looking for human hair that requires very little maintenance and styling. A little windy out here. I'll show you that. All right. Hope that helps.